All right, so I love camping. I've uh, taken my Sprinter van out hundreds of times uh, to campgrounds and off the grid spots. Never had any issues, but you do hear about people having things stolen overnight while they're sleeping or critters getting into their stuff. So having some sort of a a sensor, a monitor outdoors to pick up activities, not a bad idea. Uh, this company called Let Letwasoff, I think that's how you pronounce it, they have a motion detector that's pretty unique. Uh, most of these are infrared uh, in nature. This is actually a radar-based sensor. So it can go through wood, plastic, glass. So you can hide this pretty effectively and still get clear reception of uh, motion. Uh, It comes with one sensor and you can have up to six. So you could have 360 degree coverage um, of your van, your campsite, or even your house. Both of them have their own internal battery that's chargeable with a USB-C and uh, that's the sensor. I believe they're both water resistant. They're designed for outdoor use and um, Basically, you just pair the sensor, the one that comes with it, and it's going to pair to to channel one on the receiver. And once it's paired, you're ready to put it into service. You can adjust the sensitivity and things like that. I chose to just use the default setting. Um, I believe it covers an area 45 feet away from the sensor and about 10 feet on each side. So here I'm just going to put it in the, uh, the little storage bag I've got on the back of the... The, the van and nobody can see the the radar sensor but it's picking up movement through that bag which is pretty cool you can also use it inside the van or inside your rv or your house just point that radar sensor out the window and as you walk by it it will set it off so that's pretty handy having it inside you could leave it plugged in and charged um here I've got it just sitting outside the van, just set it on the uh, the owl ladder. Um, I was thinking of putting a magnet on the back so you could just snap it to anything metallic. But uh, anyways, here we are uh, getting ready for bed. You got the sensor located where you want, and there's your monitoring device. And it's uh, now nighttime, and let's just say it's 3 in the morning and this thing goes off. You wake up and uh, this allows you to do whatever you need to do to deal with the movement outside. Maybe it's just a critter or, you know, maybe it's a outlaw motorcycle gang that's just going to loot your uh, your campground, which is a very, very common thing to have happen. But uh, no, in all seriousness, it it would alert you to something, let you light it up and, you know, see what's going on. Um, I like it. I mean, it's, it's a simple way to ensure security around your van. I do wish it came with more than one sensor, but you can always buy more. Uh, It is a fairly expensive system, but it does everything it says it will do. Um, I think the the range is a half a mile from the sensor to the to the receiver, which is that's pretty significant. You can also turn on and off the detector from the uh, the monitoring station, which is handy. Um, The rechargeable batteries are handy. You don't have to worry about putting double A's in. You can run it off USB-C. If it's not plugged in, the sensor is only good for, I think, 60 hours. So just keep that in mind if you're camped for any length of time. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. No need to thumbs up. I don't need likes or subscribes or any of that. I just uh, appreciate you watching and hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.